and the man extracted himself from that family unit to see her standing there. Oh, I just, I'm just like that picture is giving me, like it's giving me goosebumps to see her standing there. Like, it's what I see is he's gone, oh, but I did hear. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So um, you can see I have a lot, uh, I have a big, you can see I have a big smile on my face. I just watched a video. I've watched it several times and I watched it again. And I said, you know what, let me make a video about it. Um, a lot of you will know the story of, um, was um, Messi Aigbe. So if you don't know, let me just round it up. I always like to let people that do not know the story know what we're talking about so they will not feel lost, okay? Messi Aigbe is a Nigerian actress. So Long story short, there's this Nigerian man that is married and he was living abroad and uh, the next thing he ended up, he had, oh, sorry, married, living abroad, has four children. The next thing he ended up in a relationship with Messi Aigbe. Apparently the wife didn't even know about it at first and the next thing he turned it into a marriage and now he's married to her, uh, to the actress. And... Uh, married to the actress and the first wife is not happy about it she said and she never signed up for a polygamy she's not going to be part of a polygamy and the man is saying i'm a muslim i can marry more than one wife and all of that and that's what the story is apparently the messi i think recently they say she has converted to islam i think i saw something like that i'm not too sure now so now so this is what the story is about so i just saw a post the wife made when that story came out i came here and i said it you don't force a man to be with you. You know, a lot of people were like, if you leave a lot of Nigerians, they will grab the man and push him back and say, boom, push him back to his first wife and force him to stay here. My thing is this. If a man's heart is no longer with me, me, I'm gone. No. I have said this in a lot of my videos. The love I have for a man depends on the love that he's loving me. You get my point? It is the love. I, it is love that attracts me to a man. When a man is loving me, that is when me I fall yakata. I don't know how to be loving someone that is not loving me. What would then motivate my... Honestly, nothing motivates my love if I'm not getting it. You get my point? So that's why I believe that if a man has already shown that you're not enough, that's, I always say it. I believe that if I am enough for a man, why would he need another woman? What void is that other woman coming to fill? For a man to want... This is my opinion. For a man to want to marry another woman, it means that I'm not enough. You understand? And I don't believe in dragging it. If a man don't want me again, that is when I stop wanting him. Am I making sense? I believe life will be easier if we're loving those that are loving us. I'm telling you, I made a post many years ago. I remember posting it on Facebook and I said, love is a beautiful thing. But one of the worst things you can do is love someone that doesn't love you. <laughs> it, is, it will be hell on earth. And I said, look, I said, he's a, he's a Muslim. He says he wants to do polygamy. The wife has already said, I'm not going to be part of it. That's it. She has made her stand known. Let her stick with that. And now I saw this post and it put a smile on my face. I, I, I'm looking at this her post and I'm seeing focus. I'm seeing moving on. I'm seeing, you know, putting her heart and mind and everything. Putting her mind on what matters in her life. Putting her heart and everything and every part of her on what is hers. The man is no longer hers. I don't know if, she, if they are doing polygamy, but if they are doing polygamy, he has become our husband. I'm not, I'm not sure if they are doing polygamy. He has become our husband, no longer my husband. But guess what? Her children remain her children. Your husband can become another person's husband tomorrow. But your children remain your children. If you know what I mean. When I watch this video, you know this challenge people are doing now, where this, you know, she's like, people will say, give us 12 years or give us whatever, give us a, a, how many years challenge, whatever. Oh my goodness. And she showed her and her children. And then boom, when she showed this other picture, see, the thing is making me... <laughs> When she showed this other picture of the children, boom, grown. And she's standing there like Odogu. I know in my language, Odogu is a male term. But I'm telling you guys, she is standing there. And I saw... It's making me so, ah, God, I'm just, you know, I get really emotional. The video is so powerful. And that is what I like to see, especially in women. I saw a powerful woman in that video. I saw the way she's standing and her, I, I feel like there are soldiers standing by her side, 
put a massive smile on my face. This is what it should be. Focusing on what matters. Now, what we see a lot of the man is, you see it all the time, is him and, what's it called? Him and Messi, I be, uh, him and Messi, I be flexing here, and flexing there or whatever. And then you see this woman standing there with family, her, her children. And something that I actually want to say before I forget, when relationships end or whatever, even though as a parent, you know, let me say it, for male or female, I'm saying if you're a man that a woman left you with children, it's not common in our culture, but it does happen. Or you're a woman, a man left you with children. Don't make the mistake. Let me say this, it's very important. Don't make that children all your life is about. Make sure that life is about you too. I'm not saying that's what she's doing. I just want to hint on that. You know, find time too to enjoy what you love to do, travel with friends, or even travel alone if you want. You know, explore life for yourself too. You know, enjoy life for yourself too and enjoy life with your children. Also, put a lot of attention on raising those children. Let me say this again. Marriage is ending, divorce, separation, or born outside a marriage like you were never married, you got, you know, couple, uh, people got pregnant without being married, or, you know, uh, pregnancy out, out of a marriage like a girlfriend, girl, boyfriend, whatever, got pregnant, you know, whatever way children come into this life, especially if a marriage broke up. You know, it, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean any of the parents should be absent in the life of the children, in the lives of the children. That's wrong. Let me say it. I always say it too. If marriage no let do again, it's better for people to go their separate ways than end each other's lives. I always say it. But even when people decide to go their separate ways, there are ways to make sure that both parents remain in the lives of the children. It is doable. It is doable. There are children from broken homes that, that had amazing lives. They go to their father, they go to their mother, they have both of them in their lives. It's doable. Let me actually say that. Because you see people that say, we must stay in a marriage because of children. Well, that's why sometimes a life ends up ending. Because they can't stand each other. They're trying to just manage because of the children. People don't have to stay together because of children. No. Go your separate ways and let the children have both parents alive but apart. That together and one person's life is gone. But when they even go apart, there are ways that a man or a woman can be fully in the lives of the children. I didn't want to emphasize on that. But anyways, going back to, what's her name? Ashiwaju. I think her name is Ashiwaju. Um, um, this man's uh, um, first wife. You know, when I saw that, I like what that picture represents. Don't forget, they were building a family. For whatever reason, that family, I don't know their reason behind why, whatever. But let's say, for whatever reason, that family broke up. Children do not have to lack because of that. But when we look now, unfortunately, what it looks like is that the woman carried on playing that role of being there for the children. For what we are seeing, you know, it looks like the man is no longer playing that role. Going back to looking at this woman's profile, to see that when it happened and the man extracted himself from that family unit to see her standing there oh i just i'm just like that picture is giving me like it's giving me goosebumps so to see her standing there like is what i see is he's gone oh, but i did hear with him or without him i am doing it with him or without him i stand gidiba I'm taking my responsibility seriously. That is so important. And that is also why it's important for women to be financially independent. The powerfulness of being financially independent, I can't explain it. Because if this woman was poor, she'd be going to him to beg for money for Gary. Keep bring money for school fees now. Bring money for this. Then the, it, it would then affect the children even more. It is important. You know, that's why it's good for when a woman is financial. That whether man did it or not, life goes on as if nothing ever left. You get my point? That, what's that word? Matrach. Matrach. Am I saying it? Matrach. Matrachy. You know, I, I love what I saw. I love, when you're looking at that and you're seeing a woman standing like a dog. 
That picture is, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Ah, that picture is beautiful. And I hope that looking at her would empower a lot of women that found themselves in that position. Mot I hope it will, you know, empower them and motivate them to know that you can do it if you put yourself to it. But unfortunately, there are a lot of stories where the man lives, or even when a man loses his life, the family will just suffer. The woman cannot shoulder any responsibility. She cannot whatever. Let me say this. There are women that mine have left for years and they are still waiting. They are still sitting and waiting and waiting. Like their life is at standstill because a man left. Even the children suffer. Because Long story short, I saw that video and I, I really like what I see. And I wanted to share it. That hopefully to inspire somebody else. When you see something like this, to see that, you know, you too can do it. You too can, you know, weather the storm. And when the time comes, your children will be able to say, such and such happened, but our mother stood and she did what needed to be done. I don't even know what else to add, you know. I saw that and I wanted to share with you guys. As always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.